Welcome to the first part of Compass and Ruler Constructions. In this lesson, you will be able to perform duplicating segments and angles using a straight edge and a compass and using a graphing software, preferably GeoGebra. You probably have heard about AutoCAD or you might have used other drawing softwares or apps in your computer science objects. Those softwares trace their original algorithms from the classical constructions that we are going to learn today. By classical constructions, we mean only using your compass and straight edge tools. We will use a compass to construct circles or arcs of circles, and a straight edge to draw lines, segments, and rays. A straight edge differs from a foot rule only by the absence of measuring marks. So why do we need to learn classical constructions when we already have softwares that can do the job easier for us? Well, in the context of geometry, we use classical constructions to strengthen our knowledge of theorems, and second, we can use it to solve problems. Let us now proceed to duplicating segments. Let us say we have segment IJ as the given, and we are going to construct a segment MN that is congruent to IJ. Note that we are not going to measure the length of the segment by using rulers. We are going to match them by compass settings. Also, do not erase any arc or line marks in the construction problem. To proceed with the construction, first, let us use a straight edge to draw a working line J. We now locate the point M on line J. On the given segment IJ, adjust the compass settings to mark an arc with center I and with radius equal to the length of IJ. Keep this measurement on the compass, then on your working line J, Construct arc centered at M and with the same radius as the preset length that you got from segment IJ. Let us call the point of intersection between the arc and the working line point N. This segment MN is now congruent to segment IJ. Let us now use GeoGebra to duplicate segments. So first, let's construct our given segment. We can do that by using the new segment tool. Next, we can use the new point tool to locate a point C anywhere on this window. Then we can use the compass tool, which is found here. And then we determine a circle with center at A and with radius equivalent to the length of segment AB. We now move that circle to point C. We click it so it becomes the center of the circle. And then we use the new point tool to locate any point on circle C. We use the new segment tool to connect C and D. And now we have segment CD which is the duplicate of segment AB. If you want to check the measures of these two, you would find out that they are indeed congruent. So AB measures 7.66 and CD measures 7.66 as well. Thus, we have successfully um, duplicated segment AB. Now that we are done with duplicating segments, let us also duplicate angles. We have our given angle EFG here, which is what we want to duplicate. In other words, we want to construct an angle UNO, which is congruent to angle EFG. We are not going to use a protractor in the process. Yes, we will still use our straight edge and our compass. So let's start. On our given angle EFG, 
Let's construct an arc centered at F that will intersect both rays of the angle. Let us name these points H and I. Next, we draw a working line W. On that working line, we draw point N. With the same compass settings that we got while we were drawing the arc centered at F, construct an arc on the working line with N as the center. Let us name the point of intersection between the arc and the working line point O. On the given angle, draw an arc centered at I that will intersect ray FG at H. Back on your working line, you now draw an arc with center at O and with which will intersect the first arc. Call their point of intersection point U. Next, draw ray and U. This angle U and O is the duplicate of angle EFG. Let us now use our GeoGebra app to duplicate an angle. So first, we need to have a given angle. And for us to do that, let us use the new point tool to determine three points on our graphics window. And then, we use the ray tool to draw BC, ray BC, and ray BA, which are now the sides of our given angle. We then proceed to creating a working line anywhere on the graphics window. And then we determine a point anywhere on ray BC. So that point is BF. We now use the compass tool to create a circle with center at B and with radius F. We locate the point of intersection between the circle and ray BA. So we can use the intersect tool to be precise with that. So click on the ray and your circle and the point of intersection is point G. We now use the compass tool again to create a circle with center at B with radius at F but this time we would like to use the same compass settings and make the circle the center of the circle at point D. We now locate the point of intersection between circle D and the working line by using the intersect tool and that is point I. Next, we use the compass tool to create a circle with center at G and with radius GF. We also use the same compass tool to create a circle with center at G and with radius GF, but then we want to draw that with center at point I. We now get the intersection of um, these two circles. So we click them both and we get cir uh, point K as their point of intersection. Lastly, we draw um, a ray between D and K, so ray D, K. And those are now the two sides of your duplicated angle. If you want to check the measures, you can use this tool, so angle, and then click on three points on the angle, so G, B, F. So that's 32.61 degrees according to GeoGebra. Now let's check if we've indeed duplicated the angle. So let's use the same tool, angle, and click on points I, D, and K. 
and it gives us 32.61 degrees. Thus, we have successfully duplicated our angle. So before I end, I would like to thank the developers of GeoGebra, which I largely used in this video. For more um, detailed exercises and discussions on this topic, I would like to refer you to your Student Learning Guide 6.1.1, which may be found in our K-Hub course in Math 4 with MomSol. Enjoy constructing!